A cold, refreshing glass of Caribbean sorrel will ensure that your holiday season is sweet, merry and bright. Let me show you how I make mine using both dried and fresh sorrel. Sorrel is one of the most popular holiday drinks in the Caribbean. I'm about to make my second batch of the season, so let me show you how I make it. You can purchase sorrel from any Caribbean or Mexican supermarket. And this is what it looks like. It comes under the name of Jamaican sorrel or hibiscus flower. Sometimes you can get it in your local supermarket under the Caribbean section. In Trinidad, the fresh sorrel is readily available. Some people even grow it. But because we don't have access to it, we have to settle for the dried, which works just as well. And this is what it looks like. You will also need cinnamon sticks, cloves, ginger, and orange peel. Cinnamon sticks and cloves are basic. Everything else is optional. Some people also add bay leaves. In my large stock pot, I have 12 cups of water. I'm going to add about one and a half ounces of ginger. I've peeled it and pounded it. I'll add my cinnamon sticks. These expand during cooking. So it's going to be about two to four cinnamon sticks. I have here about a tablespoon of cloves. You can add cloves according to your preference. I'm going to place it over high heat and bring it to a boil. Boil it for about five minutes. Once it's infused with the spices, we'll add in the sorrel. It has now come to a roll-in boil and the water is infused with all the spices. Now we'll add in the sorrel leaves. We'll immerse it and take off the heat and allow it to sit overnight up to 12 hours. And then we'll strain it and sweeten it. I've decided to sweeten it now so there'll be nothing else but just to strain it tomorrow. We're going to start with two cups of sugar and adjust after it's cooled. We'll also take off the flame. <laughs> What's wrong? That's two cups of sugar. We'll add more tomorrow. Yeah. And we'll also take off the flame. And that's it. We're almost done. Get your bottles ready. It's day two when we're straining the sorrel. I'm going to get everything from there, from the pot, and allow it to sit for a couple of minutes, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, so that we'll extract every bit of that juice. And I added um, another half cup of sugar last night, so that I don't need to sweeten it anymore but you can sweeten according to your preference. And now we'll pour it into bottles. And that's it, we're done. And because we can never find the funnel when we need it, I'm gonna pour it into a mug first and then pour it into the bottles. We have some new developments. My mom discovered some sorrel in Queens and bought me two pounds. It's already clean. The seed is gone, as well as the leaves. We'll rinse that 
I already have 12 cups of water here, some cinnamon sticks, about two, two to three, it's broken up so it's hard to say, about two tablespoons of cloves and a piece of ginger. We'll bring this to a boil and boil for about five minutes until the water is infused with the spices and the orange peel and the ginger and then we'll add in the sorrel. Now we'll wash the sorrel, make sure getting all inside in case there's any um, sediments or dirt or soil. So we'll wash this thoroughly and we'll drain it and we'll add it to the pot. Now we'll place the sorrel in the pot and I'll only boil it for a couple of minutes, not too much because I do want to retain the medicinal properties of the sorrel. Remember, I did not boil the leaves, the dried leaves. I just immersed it in the hot water and left it overnight. I brought it to a boil and I took the heat off, I turned off the burner and I allow it to sit overnight up to 12 hours and then we'll strain it and sweeten it. I do not want to boil too long because I'm not making a jam and this the petals will disintegrate. And that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. The sorrel has been sitting overnight. I am not going to stir it because if there's any sand or sediments at the bottom, I don't want it to be disturbed. And now I'll strain it. I'll allow it to sit for a couple of minutes to drain and I'll sweeten it and bottle it like I did with the last one we made. Sweeten according to your preference. I have two cups of brown sugar here and one cup of water and I'm going to stir until it's dissolved and add it to the sorrel. The, the amount of sugar you use is according to your personal preference. Let's look at the color. It's a much brighter color than the dried sorrel. The taste is a little different. After I add the sugar, I'll decide which one is my favorite. Now let's add the brown sugar. The sugar has dissolved and I'm going to add it into the sorrel juice. And I'll stir it to combine. It looks absolutely beautiful. The smell of sorrel always gets me in the holiday spirit. Let's see what it tastes like. The color is brilliant. It smells lovely. Let me taste it. Oh my goodness, so good. Just like home for the holidays. I hope you give this one a try. Absolutely delicious, whether you use fresh or dried sorrel. Enjoy and happy holidays.